Hello, uh, so I'm going to take you through the operation and maintenance of the Charmwood. Um, so this is the C5. Uh, we also have the C4, which is just up here. And this works in exactly the same way. And you may have the C4, which is the portrait version, um, which is the controls at the bottom here and the handle here. Um, but we're going to concentrate on the C5 today, but they both work in exactly the same way. We also have the C5 Duo, which is the multi-fuel version, which works in a slightly more traditional way in that you have a grate and you have an ash pan. But we're going to concentrate today on the wood burner, which is down here. Okay. So first thing is, as you open the door, you have a grate inside here that we can remove, which gives us a bigger view of the flames. Um, this protects the glass from logs falling against it, but without it, it's perfectly safe, and it just gives us a nice, uninterrupted view of the flames. So, um, just to take you around the stove initially, so we have the control at the bottom here, so this clicks and pushes in and pulls out. When it's pulled fully out, we're in the boost setting. So the boost setting is to get the fire going initially. Um, as you'll see, we've got a few embers in here already, but we're gonna light it from, uh, from coal. Here. And the handle here is made of wood, so this doesn't hurt your hand when you open the door. Um, and then here we are, okay? So we're gonna light the fire using the top-down method, which is, um, to us, is the best way of lighting a stove, because it means that you can lay the wood in the bottom, and it works a little bit like a triangle in that we start off with larger logs at the bottom, and then we have smaller logs on top. We lie kindling on top of this in a crisscross form, and then we have fire lighters, which we use the natural fire lighters here, which are odorless and environmentally friendly. So we've got one inside the tower, two at the top, and as you'll see, we've got a triangle of fuel here. So the triangle of fuel means that it burns from the top down into the tower, which means that you don't have to open the door to keep reloading it. Okay, so we're gonna light the fire now. And there we are, and we're off. There we go. Okay, so on cold, when the stove is cold, we usually encourage just cl close the door and just leave the door slightly ajar, so like so, so it's not quite shut, okay? And the control in the boost setting, which is fully open. Once you start to feel some heat coming through the glass, we can then close the door fully, but we're gonna leave it just open for a few minutes, um, just to get the fire going initially, and then we can, uh, we can go from there. Just there we go. So while we get the fire going here, you can see that the fire lighters at the top there are gonna burn down into the tower. So the purpose of this top, top down method, as I said earlier, is that usually you have to light kindling and you have to keep opening the door to load fuel. Whereas this way, it burns from the top down into the bottom, into the logs below here, which means that you don't have to keep reloading the stove and opening the door. So we would expect this process to take about sort of half an hour to 40 minutes to burn down into the bottom. And at that point, then the stove is up to full temperature and it's all good. Um, so a couple of points while we're just getting the fire going. So with the Charmwood C range, um, let's say you've got the wooden handle, avoid touching it here, because that gets very hot and obviously the lip here all gets very hot. The control is made of resin, um, so this doesn't get hot, but obviously be careful of the rest of the stove because it does. Um, we obviously supply gloves with it as well. Um, the handle, as I say, when you open the door, um, open the door, just a little crack, you see the fire really fire up there, properly raw, and you can hear it as well. If I shut up for a minute. And then you can open the door and pop a log on it normally. Never ever open the door like this because you're liable to get smoke in the room. So if you open the door, just a little crack, let the fire catch up and then open the door. It's a lot better for everybody and you don't get any smoke entering the room. Something that people experience quite a lot when they've had stoves and uh, not had guidance. 
so there we are the stove is now lit the kindling is uh, is a light and there we are um just a little bit of information on the first lighting so the first time you use your stove we'd always encourage just lighting some little bit of kindling like this here kindling being little sticks um, and no logs just light some kindling have a little fire in it just to get to grips with it and get used to it and then once you've had one or two of these little fires here then you can start to light it in this method but you must be aware that the first time you have a really hot proper fire the paint on the stove will uh, create an odour in the room and it's quite a pungent odour it's not dangerous but it can give you like a smoky haze in the room um, and uh, it's important to push through that first fire to get it really nice and hot so um, the paint then goes into what we call the curing process and that will heat the paint up and create a barrier on the stove. So the first proper fire, just to, just to confirm, the first proper fire that you have will be uh, quite a smelly fire. Um, and uh, we'd usually recommend just opening some windows and just ventilate the property um, just on that first one. After that, you're good to go and light it in this method. And as you can see right now, it's absolutely flying. It's roaring away beautifully. Um, you'll also see on the thermometer at the top here that the, t the control here has already come up to 100 degrees C. Um, you'll also see the best operating zone here at the top. Uh, we recommend getting a thermometer. You can either purchase one for Wolves or you can get them from Amazon. Um, the other thing that we strongly recommend, uh, the fire lighters that we showed you earlier. Again, you can buy those from Amazon for, I don't know, 15, 20 quid for 200, which, uh, which is good value. Um, and you can hear also that the stove is really getting up to a full temperature now. So I'm just going to demonstrate the control. Um, so if we push the control in, you can hear straight away that there's, it's reduced the air intake into the stove. It's still roaring away, but if I push it down to the first click here and then here, you can hear and see more importantly that the flames are certainly dying down. We do not recommend pushing the control fully in. I'm just showing you for the sake of the video here. So we've opened it up to the first click, which is the high setting, and that will burn the temperature, burn the stove at a really nice ambient temperature for the room. Again, what we're trying to do is get the control into the top zone, the best operation zone here. We do not want it right over here, and we certainly don't want it over here. If it's over this side, and your fire is smouldering and there's lots of smoke coming out your chimney, the best operation zone is when it's pointing directly up. That means that the smoke's being burnt up inside the stove and it's all good. And there we are. Thank you for watching.